The Deliverance is a 2024 Netflix film that was directed by Lee Daniels and written by David Cogshell and Elijah Bynum. And it tells the story of Ebony, a single mom with her three children that move into a new house in Indiana with her mother, uh, Alberta, played by Glenn Close. And move into this house and they're trying to make everything work. They're trying to get by and it's hard because she's a single mom and she's the one paying all the bills. Uh, her mother tries to help, but her mother's dying of cancer, so she needs uh, therapy, chemotherapy, and she's trying to take care of her three kids while her husband or baby's daddy, because it doesn't really say if he's married to her or not, is in Iraq. He's in the military. And all of a sudden, strange things start happening in the house, and they start noticing things, odd things, like odd smells, flies, things like that. And then all of a sudden, her kids, one by one, start becoming possessed. And now... Her life is in turmoil, and she has to revert to her faith to try to get her reclaim her house, her life, and her children. But Ebony lost her faith a long time ago, so I don't know if she's going to be able to pull this one off and get her kids back, as Child Protective Services took them away from her. Anyway, that's my terrible synopsis for Deliverance. IMDb says an Indiana family discovers strange demonic occurrences that convince them and their community that uh, the house is a portal to hell. That is actually not at all what the movie's about at all. My actual, my little garbage synopsis was much better. While I was watching this movie, automatically uh, towards the middle part, of the, I was like, is this based on the, that house in Indiana? It was a house in Indiana, it was a big news. A portal to hell house that we've been telling you about in Gary, Indiana, where so many eerie things are said to have happened, has just been sold. And. Zach Baggins from Ghost Adventures actually ended up buying the house and he made a documentary called Demon House that I actually do like, except I wish it was like an actual investigation of the home, which they don't do. And so I knew the whole story, the real story. So watching this movie and knowing off the bat, I kind of already knew that that's what this was, that this was a, a film about this, this house. I, I kind of was, okay, I'm, let me see how it comes out, how it turns out, you know? And I will say this, I will give, I don't know Lee Daniels, I know he does a lot of things, he's a big time producer in Hollywood, uh, they, at least Hollywood makes a big deal about him, and you know, uh, the black community loves him, they always say, Lee Daniels, Lee Daniels, I know he did Empire, he did that other show, because uh, I knew somebody that worked on that show actually, Star or something, anyway, so I know Lee Daniels is a big thing, but I've never seen anything he's ever done at all, so this is like my first introduction to him, and I will say this, he's a competent director, for the majority of the film there's a part in the movie that it just it just loses me and that's because it diverts so much from the original actual true story and that's why it says this movie's inspired by true events instead of you know based on true events i guess so they just took elements from it and the portal to hell thing might come in. i don't even think that actually comes in at all i don't i they, they mentioned that a few years prior something happened in this house this woman's been watching the house for a few years because she confronts her and tells her what's happening in her home. She tells Ebony, this woman, I forgot her name. I believe she says she was an apostle or something like that. And that uh, she basically tells her 20 years ago, a family moved into this house. Their boy got possessed and they didn't know what to do with him. So they came to me because they used to come to my church and I had to give them something called the deliverance. And then Ebony goes, like an exorcism? And she goes, no. I don't need a priest. I it's me. I use the hand of God myself. Like God's a conduit to, uses me as a conduit, and I could use my power. Obviously, it didn't work because uh, it, it didn't work. She says she lost the boy, and then the boy ends up like possessing the mother or the rest of the family. And the mother kills her husband with an axe and then strangles her daughter. Pretty gruesome. So that's why the house is haunted. But it should have been like you know those entities should have done more damage to the house too. I guess they're supposedly. I don't know. That's the problem with this movie, in a sense. Like, they weren't, there wasn't really a supernatural feel to the house being haunted, you know, or being a demon. It was just like possession automatically because the kid could sleepwalk. That's the problem I have with the movie. If they're going to take elements from the story because they can't actually use the real story, maybe because, I don't know, I know there was a dispute between uh, Zach Baggins, who had the rights to make the documentary and whoever the producer was that was trying to buy the rights to the film from the family to make it into a movie. And I don't know if that was Lee Daniels at the time or it was somebody else. All I know is that they called Zach and they, they uh, threatened him, or at least that's what Zach says. So now we get this movie so many years after the fact, 
and it's missing a lot of relevant things like there's a lot of cool things that happen in the actual story and in the actual documentary that it would have been better to see that and if it was a portal to hell as is being advertised here they did not really show that at all in my opinion at least i blacked out or i forgot everything about the ending but the ending just seemed like just weird just weird um so it lost me half it lost me when the kid uh, this is spoilers right now so it's, that's what i'm gonna say this is a spoiler part uh all in all if you like if you want to watch a, a decent movie but it's not great then you should definitely check out the deliverance i don't think it's great i think it's okay I mean, it's sad. It could have been so much better, in my opinion, honestly. There are things they could have done. It's like they they, they missed the part. I think he was trying to make it his own, and it was interesting enough. I'll say this. The best actors in here, all the everyone's a good actor. The kids are pretty good. Uh, the woman who plays Aunt Ebony, uh, what's her name, Andrea Day, she's a really good actress. Glenn Close is good, and she plays her mom, even though the middle mother doesn't look like that, but it doesn't matter. It was a good, it's good. She looked like she fit in. The outfits are like Pete girls or mothers that I know from the hood. So she fit in. Um, so yeah, I thought that all the acting was phenomenal. Um, the special effects were terrible. I will say that. There's part, and then so this is what I'm gonna get to. So I'm gonna rate it right now. Uh, I will give this movie three out of five stars. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's worth checking out, I guess. But I'm different. I, I didn't like it that much because I know the real story. So now let me talk, let me get to spoilers parts. So in the actual story and in real life, this this happened. There are witnesses that one of the children uh, that was possessed was in the hospital, and he like climbed up backwards on a on a wall, and uh, was like levitating for a brief period of time. And social services saw this, and uh, child protective services saw this, and the nurses saw this, and they all wrote reports that they saw this kid walk backwards, walking backwards, on the wall, like climbing the wall backwards and levitating. So, I'm like, well, the way they did it in the movie, it was looked it looked terrible. It looked so bad. I'm talking, I can't even. I, I'm trying to remember the last time I saw CG that bad. It was really bad. Like it looked, I can't even remember. It really, it was. It's like 2000 fucking 10 or even earlier, 2005 CG. Like that's how bad it looked. It looked horrible. I'm trying to. I'm thinking Jar Jar Binks. Like his legs, the kid's legs look like Jar Jar Binks' mouth or something, or tongue, like something weird, like something from Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. Something that just doesn't doesn't fit right. That's what the kid's legs look like uh, when he because he jumps out of the bed and he does. Like it was so so weird. Um, but there are good parts of the film too. But the CG is terrible, and it just lost me in the third act because I didn't believe her. Like the like, so she's a good actress, but her her progression into you know she's just a, she's just a nasty character for the whole beginning and she's miserable and i couldn't sympathize with her with ebony the lead actress or the lead character i couldn't sympathize with her and then it, and then what happens to the kids aren't really anything scary and there's nothing really scary in the house it's like the kids automatically get possessed that's another thing like i don't know what they were trying to do uh, but you know they they should have done a little bit more like you know, shadow figures, bangings, the odd, odd things happening in the home, and them being nervous. Like, what was that? And what, you know, things like that more often. Except it goes straight to one of the kids sleepwalks, and he's easily able to be possessed, and he has an imaginary friend. But they never even developed that after that. So it was just, it was just terrible. I think I thought that at the end of the movie, uh, she doesn't have, she doesn't believe in God, but her mother goes to church all the time and she's like lost faith because her life is terrible. And at the end, she talks to this woman who is not a priest and is trying to help her. See, that's another thing. They call it deliverance. It's an exorcism, but they go, We're gonna del it's deliverance. Uh, in, the, uh, in the Bible, the definition of deliverance is uh, being rescued from danger or bondage or the act of God rescuing his people from peril. So that's, how could this woman, uh, anyway, that's what we're gonna be deliverance. We're gonna give you the power. So I guess that's what they were trying to say. Like there was this woman that was, that was witnessed the first thing and she came back to help this woman because she felt like she's been watching the house, feeling like the house was gonna come back and, and harm somebody. But for 20 years it didn't until Ebony's family moved in because they have dark things attached to them already, and uh, it's it's it, one of them is possess the demons possessing one kid, and then through that kid, it's possessing the other two. 
Uh, in actuality, in the real story, it was believed that it was 200 demons uh, or spirits, evil spirits, that were in this home, and that it was a portal to the, another, uh, you know, to hell. And even a police officer witnessed something that he couldn't explain when he came back, and he looked in the house, and he thought he saw somebody standing in front of the home. And then when he drove away, he heard, like, his radio go crazy, and somebody say, like, get over there, or something like that. So there are witnesses to this. This was a big story, and... Um, this movie is not does not live up to the story, and that's the only thing. So if you are not, you don't know if you didn't know anything about the story, right? Then you probably like this movie. But since I know the story, I know the actual people. I've heard them talk about it. I heard witnesses talk about what happened at that home, and I saw the documentary that was not great, but I liked it. It was different than what you know. I wish it was an actual investigation. Um, this movie didn't do it for me, so. But all in all, even with that, uh, I will give it three and three out of five stars, and that's because Glenn Close and uh, Andrew Andrew Day or Andrea Day, yeah, those why those two and the kids are good actors. So yeah, everybody was good in the movie. All the actors were good. The CG was terrible, and the story lost me halfway into it. So yeah, the movie's a little bit longer than it should be. That's another thing. But I mean, it could have been fine if they actually took elements from other great successful films. Incorporated in here and do the more supernatural gateway to hell thing. I don't feel like I, I don't know. It says it's a portal to hell. Unless I blacked out <laughs> at the last half of the film, I don't remember them mentioning that it's a gateway to hell or a portal to hell at all. So I could be wrong, but I don't think so. But again, it honestly isn't a bad movie. Um, Ebony's reasoning for not having faith is explained in the film. They say it's, she felt she asked God for help. When something was happening to her by an abuser and God never answered her prayer. So she's been hurt ever since then and life has been kicking her down. So they gave her a reason and there is shadow figures kind of, but it's just done not very well. And there's something missing in this film. I don't know if it's music or the cinematography. It's just something is missing, but it's not a bad movie. Um, it's not a bad movie. All in all, it's just, uh, I know the story as I keep saying. So the movie didn't grab me anyway so that's my review for the deliverance if you saw this movie but not know anything about the documentary and you came here to i don't know hear somebody's review about it but uh let me know in the comment section down below what you thought what you thought about the movie and maybe you should check out the documentary i believe it's on amazon you can watch it or probably online somewhere um yeah it's called the demon house it's not a paranormal investigation type show it's about but even though the guy that does his show bought the house and he did tear it down, but um, but watch if you actually watch that, you'll hear the real stories and things that happen, and you'll probably be more scared than you were watching this film. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.